Uh, it's James and Ify, goddammit, they do it so spiffy, they got the campus super litty, so smart and so witty. They wanted to snag the votes of Harvard students. This is the clever way James Matthew and Ify White Thorpe got their attention in their campaign for Harvard student body president and vice president with the music video. Basically, when we were coming into this campaign, we knew we wanted to do something musical, artistic. We knew that's kind of what separated us from every other ticket. We had a capacity to do something that was, um, you know, unique in that sense. And this was the result. This video kind of culminated everything that we were running on. You see, it, it encompassed diversity. It encompassed inclusion. It only took a few phone calls to friends and a few hours to make the video. It was getting the buzz they wanted on campus. But when Ify's brother tweeted it, it hit another level. Even though celebs like Dwayne Wade and Kerry Washington couldn't vote for them, they still threw their support behind the juniors. So what she tweeted, I was like, Lord Jesus, we have made it. <laughs> we are not necessarily the most stereotypical students that you think of when you think of students who are running Harvard, right? Um, you might think of like, you know, the stereotypical like white student with like a button up and a tie. <laughs> Better recognize the name, the most inclusive campaign. You cannot- Ify and James say they wanted to find a way to let people know that civic engagement can be fun and potentially life-changing. The video's popularity has even caught the ear of some record label A&Rs. Making sure that we're trying to position every one of our people in that video in the best way possible um, and, and just kind of, you know, using this platform that was truly unexpected um, to, you know, maybe, yeah. maybe jumpstart a couple best. careers. One of the main things they're pushing for when they officially take office next semester, an all-inclusive space. In other words, a multicultural center on Harvard's campus. As for whether or not they'll release a follow-up track. Everyone is benefiting from a situation that like no one really intended to get too much out of. But you know, if we release another track, I might have to hop on it. So right, that's what I said. Say, <laughs> just saying. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.